Hi, this is Roxana for Avid Diva, and today is actually day 81. I just noticed that I have two day 79s because they were both done during my vacation, um, and they both had a similar message. Uh, I'm more assured that says I have CDO, it's like OCD, but spelled proper with the proper lettering because, well, it should be. Um, I am. I'm kind of shocked that I do videos without paying much attention to what I look like or what I do because I am very OCD about most things. So that's kind of weird. But um, I'm trying to do a little YOLO. You only live once and do things however they come out. So today's Monday. Well, actually, no. Today's Tuesday. Oh, my God. I'm so confused. Yesterday was Memorial Day. Um, we actually took a little vacation from Thursday to yesterday. We actually stayed in the local area, but we went ahead and we got a room in an actual hotel and just left and had a really good time. And the whole message during the week and the few times that I was able to video was, you know, you only live once, you might as well enjoy it. And that is a message that has followed me today. Because as it turns out, my daughter is working from 3 p.m. to midnight. Um, she likes her job and she has learned so much and she has actually proved to be a very good salesperson which she didn't know she could do it um, I always thought she could but she for some reason thought she couldn't do it and <clears throat> everybody in the house except for my family member who has um, dementia and me um, everybody else is working and I'm home watching TV chilling having a good time and the thing about it is this it's Self-Health Tuesday, it's all about you and your health and what you're going to do to keep healthy. I personally have to get rid of a lot of weight and a lot of food out of my diet because I need to stay healthy. I, I, I have plans, I have dreams, I have hopes and if you get hurt like in an accident or if there's a natural disaster and you die then I guess that's an easier way or than if you get sick because of something you did. Because when you get sick, and, and keep in mind, I'm not talking about people like little kids that get cancer because they, they didn't do anything to get cancer. I'm talking about when you don't eat healthy and end up with diabetes or when you have high blood pressure and you don't take care of yourself, that kind of thing. If you die because of that, shame on me <laughs> if I die because of that. So that's my message for today. It's very short and sweet. Just keep doing whatever makes you healthy. Uh, there's no reason why you should be unhealthy. There's no reason, you know, and I understand there's a lot of processed foods in the, in the planet. But, you know, there's a lot of other uh, of companies that are coming up with sensible solutions to this problem. For example, you can now have fast food that is actually healthy. Even the so quote unquote bad restaurants have healthy options. Now, they're not perfect, so most of them are GMO and whatnot. It is a step in the right direction. To be honest with you, I'd rather you have some GMO lettuce than some processed macaroni and cheese. That's just the way I think. In a perfect world, you would have non-GMO food, and, and that's it. But, but I understand that some people have to, like, shop in a fast food restaurant or or get processed foods or whatever so because they're so busy so just try to stay as healthy as possible within your means within your abilities um, as far as being poor and not being able to eat fruits and vegetables that's no longer a reason Target even Walmart which I don't, I don't really care for Walmart they do have a section of fruits and vegetables and they are bringing non GMO foods and fruits and vegetables they finally got the message so there are options, you just have to look for them. Take the time. Take one of your two days off when you say that you're so busy doing laundry and all that stuff and you're actually watching every episode of your favorite guilty pleasure and go around the stores that you should frequent and see what the healthy options are. If there's a day when you're staying home watching TV or doing the laundry, get a crock pot, put something together, let the crock pot do its job and you have food for a week. If you do, if you have, if you have the luxury of having two days off together, you can do that two or three times. End up with enough options and enough variety on your menu. So think about those options. 
Anyway, this is Roxana for Abdiva. Today is day 81 of the 100-day challenge, and thank you so much for watching.